What's up guys and welcome back to Empire Total War where last week, well actually over the last couple of weeks, we've made a lot of progress. We have actually gained a lot of territory, we did lose some territory as well, but we've gained a lot of territory. So we gained Lvov um, very early on and then we've kind of expanded out and we took, we took uh, Moldova and then lost it some rebels. We've also taken Transylvania, Serbia, Bosnia and Croatia, although I'm not sure how long we'll keep those because there's a group of Austrians sitting down here who look very like they're going to uh, try and take one of these places back. Um, and uh, yeah, we're uh, we're making our way towards taking Vienna. It's our it's our master target. It's what we're here to try and gain. If we can get Vienna, then we'll be uh, we'll be all good. So I have my my main army heading down from the north, well northeast, and uh, they're going to be making it. And we're going to try and take Presburg or Preisberg or Pre Presburg, and we're going to try and take this place. And then we're going to basically merge up these two armies, or as good as we can, replenish all of our men, and then just completely annihilate the Austrians in Vienna. That is our target for this week. Hopefully it will pay off the way I'm, I'm uh, saying it's going to pay off, but we'll uh, we'll, uh, we'll give it a good go. So hopefully it works out, And because uh, if it doesn't, then we're probably going to lose everything. But uh, we've also been making some territory gains over in America, where we took both of these places a couple of weeks ago, and we've also... That's, that's not what I meant to do. Um, we've also managed to take the Bahamas, and we uh, we took Jamaica before we lost it to the uh, the Jamaican rebels. And uh, we also took the uh, the Leeward Islands, and we actually managed to take Punda at the very end of last week, which is a, a Dutch-held territory, which we uh, we managed to take off of them. So uh, we were at war with the Dutch, so it was uh, an easy enough take. There are some Dutch down here as well we could possibly go and look at taking in, uh, in Guyana. But I think we may well try and take on the uh, the Grand Colombians. Now, I'm going to check, because I don't know what their, uh, what their sort of diplomatic status is in the world. Like sort of in terms of allies and and enemies, so if we can find them, are they are they a minor nation? They are a minor nation, so they're friendly with other oh, allied with Spain. Okay, that might be a bit of an issue. Okay, right, we're new plan. We're not going to take Caracas. Uh, we're going to let it go for a little while until we're in a position where we feel we can probably take Spain on. Um, but I think we can try and take this on, and we'll probably try and take Jamaica back at some stage. Um, I'm not sure. What else we could we could try and take Mexico? Um, what are the what are the Mexicans saying about things? Right, so they have no allies at all. At 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 all. That's cannot speak. Anyway, right. Anyway, but yeah, they've got no allies. So they are a protectorate of uh, the Plains Nations, which are a group of like just I don't really know what they are like Native Americans up here somewhere. I think maybe these guys. I don't know. Maybe who knows? Anyway, they are they are a protectorate of them. Um, so yeah, not really much to worry about. So we could potentially go and look at trying to take uh, take Mexico, and that would be I think that'd be a very good start. Um, trying to take Mexico, I'm not really sure how. I mean, it's one of these cities that's actually quite a decent size. As I was saying last week, there's not that many cities in in South America or just in America in, in general that's that that big. Caracas is one. Um, Mexico looks pretty decent size, and then it's not until you get up to here with uh, Boston, uh, Philadelphia, Quebec. They're the only other like decent sized territories in America, uh, like cities in America. So it would be nice to have one. Caracas looks like it might be a bit of an issue now, given that they're allied with Spain. But if Mexico don't have any allies, then that could be a pretty good take for us, and it might be a good place to sort of stage an attack on uh, the rest of America. But that's uh, that's something we'll we'll deal with in uh, in due time. So, back to here, we uh, we have our men replenishing. They've just finished taking over Croatia. Um, so we'll uh, I think we'll probably just have to end turn. Um, I think are we replenishing our men in London because we had to deal with a, a rebellion. So we'll just replenish all of these guys as well because we've got the money to do it. So we might as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I think we'll just end turn. Right. So. Uh, this lad's come from absolutely nowhere. Big Hugo Melas with 420 men. We've got more men than him. It's showing it as being a pretty level fight, though, so I'm not sure how how they're seeing it that way. So I'm going to do it myself. I'm just going to do this myself. We've got a city, so I think we'll just try and, like, barricade ourselves in a building or something and uh, see if we can take out all of these lads before they have a chance of doing anything. Right, so welcome to a very foggy wherever we are. I think we're in Croatia. Um, right, so where are they coming from? Over that direction. So... I'm thinking this building here, if we can kind of get all of our men, maybe not these guys because I don't think they're, they're all clansmen, they're basically useless. If we can get all of these guys 
maybe the, this group here is 125 of them. If we can send them inside this building and then just kind of surround it and see if we can uh, see if we can hold on to it for as long as we possibly can, that would probably be the best solution, I think. So we'll move these guys over here, and I think we'll we'll take our clans and we'll stick them back here. They're pretty much useless, so we'll stick them back there, and we'll we'll leave those guys there actually. What we'll do as well is we'll take these guys over here and we'll put them in this building. And then, this is our general, so we kind of want to protect him, we don't want him too much of a line of fire, that would be a bit of a bad situation to be in. So I think we'll just end deployment, get these guys inside this building, and uh, if, they, if they would actually move. And we'll uh, do the same here, we'll just get these guys inside that building. And then I think we're probably just going to have to uh, take these guys as they come, and see what happens. Right. So they are slowly making their way towards us. We've got a lad with a drum. Might be a bit of a worry. Um, anyway, so they're making their way towards us. They're about to get, I think, probably done in by our uh, our guys in the house. They have no idea what to do. We're going to rapidly go into square formation. And hopefully annihilate them all. Uh, these guys did get kind of attacked from behind, which is a bit of a of a poor situation, but we're uh, we're making them run away. We've already <laughs> we've already killed about forty of them, so they're uh, they're already clearing off. These guys are actually taking pretty heavy damage. We can uh, see if we can shoot these guys. Oh God, it's absolute chaos! Like these guys have come charging in here and they're getting shot from every direction. Although we have a bunch of enemies making it into this building now, so we'll see how that goes. But they, they, they've just kind of got into this death zone here and just stopped. They don't seem to really know what to do. These horses are just taking an absolute pounding. They're falling like fleas. This is ridiculous. There's only 23 of them. And these guys are off. But these guys here that are uh, really our only last challenge. If we can get into square formation here, that'll deal with them. The guys in the house are just absolute. Look at the amount of dead people here. I don't even think they even attacked us. Apart from the group of horses that actually ran into these guys and the group of enemies who, I don't know how many are left, 40. Actually, we've not done too much damage to them yet. And they're running away as well. I've just noticed that this entire time I've been recording, we've got no bloody game audio. Not that it's really that obvious, to be honest, but we've got no game audio, so I'm going to fix that. Right, so we should now have some game audio. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's get on with this properly. Anyway, everybody's running away actually, so there's not really much to get on with, but we'll, uh, in fact, you guys, because you're not doing too great a job at fighting these guys inside the building, let's just uh, leave and pull them out. Actually, they're about to run away anyway, but we'll just leave them. They can uh, do what they want. Is that them chasing us? It is them chasing us. <laughs> oh, you know what, I'm just going to end it. A heroic victory. There was nothing heroic about it. They had absolutely nothing against us. We, uh, we just sat there and they just wandered into the courtyard of death and got completely done in. I mean, look at that. 371 people dead out of 420. They've only got 50 men remaining. They only managed to kill 122 of us. And I think most of them were the folks sitting inside that house that got, like, raided. Like, they really, they didn't do very much in, like, any way to try and take us on. So we still have a significant amount of men sitting here. And hopefully they'll be replenished. He's cleared off back to his hovel. And we'll, uh... Yeah, we'll try and replenish our men, but that was that was the most half-hearted attack ever. I don't even know why the game thought it was going to be a 50-50 battle. We had 200 more men than them, which was about half their army again. Right, so this was always going to happen. Big Abram Shani, Sh Shani with his 1,200 men, is taking on Big Lachlan Barr with uh, 360. So we're not we're not going to win that. So I'm just going to resolve the inevitable. We, uh, we lost quite a few, we did kill a decent amount, but to be honest, we could have done better. And uh, we have lost Transylvania, it was not really expected that we'd keep it very long, but to be honest, not the biggest loss in the world. Serbia is re rebelling now. We are after Vienna, that is our, our one and really on only proper target here, because if we, if we lose all of this to rebels, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. What we're doing in the process is basically annihilating the Austrians' ability to make money because all of these places would be making them money and they no longer are because they're either ours or they're under rebel control. So they, they're just they're just bleeding money at the moment. So um yeah. I think all in all this is probably the best best way of dealing with them. 
Right, back to the Caribbean. What shall we do over here? We have ourselves an army. Is it being replenished? Did I remember to do that? We, we are doing that. So we've got another turn until these guys are replenished. So I think we'll just wait that out. Um, we'll, uh, well, there's not really much else to do. So we'll just wait that out. And then we'll probably head up and try and take Jamaica. And that'll be that'll be a good take for us, I think, if we can get Jamaica back. Because it actually makes us quite a decent amount of money. And we'll, uh, we'll remember to actually station enough people in there to keep it from uh, rebelling. Meanwhile, let's have a look at public, public orders. Fine, most places. Don't know, it's just Jamaica that was uh, not very happy. Everywhere else seems to be not not too bothered about the situation. These guys are actually loving life up here. Public orders, absolutely glorious. Nobody cares. They've just been completely taken over and uh, they honestly couldn't give two hoots. But anyway, we shall uh, probably just end turn again and uh, see where the world takes us. Uh, Prussia and Bavaria have fallen out with one another, as have Bavaria and France. Croatia is on uh, riot. Bosnia has got a rebellion. Um, yeah, all's, uh, all's good in the world. So, How's our men doing over here? Uh, we did not get attacked by the group of enemies that ran away off to uh, Graz. They uh, they decided in their uh, in their ability to uh, just piss off back to Vienna. So they've actually gone back to Vienna, which I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, but they're uh, they're there. So uh, that's something. Um, right. So let's go. We'll uh, take this on. We shall just continue our siege for the time being, and we'll bring these guys up, and we shall also attack. Um, right, it's giving us like a 50-50 chance of winning this. Are they getting reinforced by the guys from Vienna? I think they are as well. That's a bit That's a bit of a dick. Anyway, uh, so there's 980 of the guys in this city. Big Rolf Sch Schiffer. Um, he's, uh, he's got 980 men, but he has 2,246 in reserve coming from Vienna. We have... Well, we have less than that. Big, we do have big Gavin, though. So Gavin, he's a well-experienced lad. I mean, look at this guy. He's got he's got a silver star and, and no a little star. We have a golden star and, like, eight star. Anyway, we have uh, we have this boy who's an absolute beast. And uh, we only have about 2,400 men, 2,500 men, somewhere in that region. They have, well, they have over 3,000. So we're going to have to fight this ourselves. Hopefully it goes well for us. If we can take out these guys to begin with and get them all to run away before these guys show up, this is our proper, like, what we actually have to worry about. But if this goes well and we do actually win it, if we can significantly damage this army, it leaves us much in a much, much better position of taking Vienna because suddenly Vienna has gone from having 2,246 men in it down to maybe 1,000, which would be properly, properly brilliant. So we'll fight this ourselves. Hopefully it pays off in the long run. And uh, we don't lose, because if we lose this, then we're probably in uh, a bit of a shit situation. But, having said that, we uh, it's a bit opportunistic anyway to have uh, come across here with one army and see what we can do. But we'll see if we can see if we make it work. Right, so we actually have quite a flat battlefield, which could uh, could do okay for us. We don't have... Oh, we do have cannons. Okay, that's, well, that's decent. Well, so we've got... We've got ourselves three groups of cannons, which I think we'll sort of probably just set up about here. Um, so they have themselves a fort, which we'll probably just try and bombard the walls, take the walls out, and then make our way up. They, their fort is on top of a hill, which is a bit of an issue, but we'll, uh, I think we're in a pretty decent position here to just sort of annihilate their walls. How far are we reaching? Just, just far enough. So I think we might be able to just move our guys up a little bit closer. I don't really want to move them too close, because I've got this mound in the way. Right, okay. You guys do not need to be up there, so we'll move you over. Oh, good grief, that cannonball just like... It, it's already taken out one cannon. How... I shoot 101 cannonballs in a battle and I manage to take out no cannons. Take out all their bloody horses, but their cannons somehow miss it. Like, just, we get... Miss them all the time. They've already hit about three cannons. They've already, like... How have they done that? How are they so bloody lucky? Anyway, right, we'll just keep going. There comes their second army. <laughs> um, okay. So they don't actually realize that we have these men up here, which is probably quite a good thing. I'll be interested to see what they do. They might, I'll just keep an eye on them because they might go and try and take on... Who are you? Oh, these are our reinforcements arriving as well. Interesting. They're both coming from the same bloody direction, which is odd. But anyway, um, yeah, they might actually think about sending some of these men across here to try and take on these guys that are arriving and we've got all these guys sitting in the trees completely hidden so we'll just keep an eye on it 
But if they come across that way, then we could get a, a nice little casual sneaky attack off of them. Um, they are, by the looks of things, just going to try and get into the fort, which probably benefits us, because once they're in the fort, we can kind of pin them in, and especially if we can take out this wall, we could just try and cause absolute like anarchy and see if we can just kill them all as they come out, rather than uh, trying to get in the fort. This is all the reinforcements we're getting, like two units. What is this? What is this? Where are the rest of you? Oh, there goes the wall. Right, okay. So that's uh, phase one complete. Right, so once you're limbered, she'll bring these guys all the way up here and we shall just create an absolute zone of death. Meanwhile, we have all of these guys over here. This is one of our generals, so I don't really want him getting in too much danger. We'll bring these guys around. We also have these guys here. And we might just bring these guys up and hide them amongst the trees as well. Um, but we might just stick them around the back. Bit of a distraction, because it means we might have to send some people up onto these walls as opposed to just all focusing this way. But they might not even notice us, which uh, means we could potentially climb the walls and try and capture some of the gates. And that would that would lock them in. They wouldn't be able to leave apart from through this. Right, so we're being charged. Oh my god, we're being very much charged. Did not see this coming. Well, that is us lost one group of cannons. Jesus. Actually, no, we've lost it. Oh my god, this has gone horribly wrong. We're down to one group of cannons now. Get back, get back. Right, they're about to make the mistake of charging our square formation again. Um, although they did shoot an absolute ton of bullets at us. What is this frame rate going on here? Anyway, look how fast the number of them is falling. That's uh, properly ridiculous. Right, they are uh, charging their way out. This is getting a bit chaotic right now. There are so many people charging around honestly cannot believe how bad the frame rate is handling this right now got some of them to run away though which is uh, exactly what we wanted these guys are still getting um, completely you know what if you're just going to stand there and shoot us we're just going to stick a bunch of grenades on top of you how's that sound probably going to miss them all but anyway well we did some decent damage and they're, uh, they're now thinking of running away what happens if we just turn, right, okay, if we just turn this direction, <laughs> the game runs fine. It's when we look this way, it gets just so, so clogged up with complete and utter chaos that's going on. Right, so we've got our guys making our way up the walls on this side as well. We've not actually got that many men inside the fort anymore. What is going on here? I told you to climb the walls, not getting an argy-bargy fight with a bunch of people at the gate. Right, we've captured a gate. Captured ourselves the gates. We've got ourselves some guys on the walls. We can just attack these guys. That'd be nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start sending our men around the fort. Send them over there. See if it, Don't go down. Go along and round. If you go down, you get into a fight. Right. Well, all in all, it's gone pretty well so far. There's still an absolute ton of them. But they're all just kind of grouped up around here. And there's a bunch of them coming in from the back as well. So I'm thinking if we can try and get ourselves around and capture these gates, then it gives us the option to try and get in and secure the fort. Cavalry is about to charge these guys who are on a side-on attack, which, uh, well, they've not, they've not really thought that one through very well. It's been completely sidetracked. Right, we've now captured that gate, so if we can charge our way along this way and we'll capture the final gate on that side. And it's just this side of the fort that's left. And they can't get in otherwise, so if we can get these guys to run away... Which they are. You guys get on that get on that center spot. You can use the gate. Go on. All right, we're on the center spot, so they're now having to try and do something about us. There's not that many of them in here though, and all of their units that they could potentially be doing something are outside as well. So it's just these guys. If we can get rid of these guys for long enough that we're able to secure the center spot, then we uh, we win. Killed the enemy general. No, Gavin. No. How did Gavin die? Oh, it's because we charged him. Oh, god damn. Oh, well. We've lost Big Gavin. Oh, that's an absolute disaster. As long as we win, that's all I care about. We've killed a lot of them as well. But we're about to hopefully win this. We've hit zero seconds. Potentially. Potentially. Hey, there we go. End the battle. Heroic victory. I mean, we had like a significant amount less men than they did. 
and we also had a pretty poor, <laughs> pretty poor time of things, getting completely side, like just completely done in by a, a bit of a surprise attack. But it has worked out. We have killed. We have killed two thousand seven hundred and sixty-one men out of three thousand two hundred and twenty-six. They only have five hundred remaining. We still have twelve hundred men remaining, and that gives us such an advantage now going to attack this place that is possibly the best outcome apart from gavin dying which is uh pretty poor that's that's not great i wouldn't lie that was uh not on the books but we shall recruit ourselves a new general big caden owen big caden owen he's already got himself three stars so he's already better than the last general we fought against this guy's uh doing all right as well big baxter garden Unfortunately, Gavin has failed to uh, see out his mission of taking taking Vienna, but hopefully his men will continue that mission for him and uh, we'll uh, try and get that in a turn's time or two, maybe. It depends how long it takes us to uh, replenish our men. Um, so I think we'll just do that now, actually. We'll just uh, end turn. Right. So big Sebastian Barbanachenko of... <laughs> Jesus Christ, that name is massive. Anyway... He is, uh, he's rocked up with 810 men plus about like, what's that, 270, 270 gnomes. Um, we, have, we have 180 gnomes, big uh, Morvin Rams, Ramsden, um, but we have no chance of winning this. So we're just going to auto-resolve it and uh, lose. We did kill 123 of them, which is not too bad, but we killed, they, we, they did kill all of us. So we've lost ourselves Bosnia. Again, that's not a big deal. We're about to lose Serbia as well, so we'll just do that. We'll just uh, resolve that. So we've lost that as well. Again! Not a big deal. We can take those back from the rebels. That is just an issue that we're going to have to deal with later on. But um, our main target is still Vienna. How's our uh, how's our replenishment going? These guys have been replenished. These guys are still in the process of replenishing. Yeah, these guys are still right. Okay. Um, right. One more turn. These guys will be replenished. We will attack these guys who are heavily battle scarred now, um, and half of them are now town guard. So we should theoretically have a very good chance of taking this they will still have a lot of men but we uh, hopefully we'll have a far far larger army than they have this guy's rocking up furch furch smith has uh, decided to uh, rock up with his with one unit which well i don't know what they're going to manage to do with one unit but we'll uh, we'll hopefully see him off um right is there anything we can do over here army has replenished so we what we'll do is we'll recruit a bunch of militia just to keep public order decent here. And once those public art, once those militia are recruited, then we'll go and take Jamaica. We, I'm, I'm kind of going to slow that, slow things down a bit. We've been moving so quickly that we've not been able to keep everything. So I think we need to properly slow ourselves down and just like make sure that what we're doing is the correct thing. So I think once we get Vienna, we will probably try and take back all of these territories we lost to the rebels. But apart from that. I think we'll uh, I think we'll just kind of slow things down and just try and get public order in a good place again, which, it, well, it's definitely not going to be after we've finished taking off Vienna. But hopefully, it'll uh, it'll sort itself out and we'll be able to then look at taking on somebody else. But if this is if this all goes to plan, we'll uh, we'll have basically annihilated Austria and we'll have taken all of their territory in about what like f four years or something like that. So anyway, we'll end turn again. Right, so we're about to lose Croatia as well, so we'll just all resolve that. We do lose it to the Austrians, but again, it's not a big deal, really, in the scheme of things. <laughs> Croatia just got taken off of us, and now the, the rebels have rocked up and taken it off the Austrians. Right, we've recruited an agent, got ourselves a, mo a missionary, who uh, is just kind of casually hanging around. What's his name? Douglas Lane. Right, uh, lost Croatia, that's fine. Workers on riot. Mission successful. We've uh, got ourselves a new port. Newcastle has arrived. Right, what should we turn you into? Let's get ourselves another trading port. Why not? We can always do with trading ports. Right. Back to Vienna. So you should now all be replenished. Well, this army is all replenished. These guys are still... I mean, they're pretty much very close to being fully replenished. So, let's attack these guys. So we'll uh, move you up to here. And we'll move you up. And we'll attack. And uh, it's given us a pretty good chance... George Schiffer is 1,700 men with another 300 in reserve. We have 1,830 with 700 men in reserve. It's given us a pretty successful chance of uh, victory here. I might just all resolve it, which wins it for us. We do lose 924 men in the process, which is quite a lot, but we killed near enough 2,000 men, leaving them 
70. So we shall take Vienna. We have secured ourselves Vienna and uh, we'll stick these guys back into Presburg to keep that secure. And uh, yeah, this has been very successful. We shall replenish these guys and we shall fix everything that we've set on fire in the process, given that we have an absolute ton of money at the moment. Um, so that's not what I meant to do. Right. So now I'm not really sure what to do. Vienna, Austria are still like alive. They only have one location now. Actually, sorry, they have two. No, is that no? They have one location. They have Sofia in Bulgaria, and that is it. That is all they have by the looks of things. So they're in a pretty, pretty dire st situation where I'm honestly surprised that they're still around. Obviously, Bulgaria is capable of keeping them around, like alive for the time being, but we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully we're able to take... Well, I mean, I don't think they're going to do anything. Even if they do take some of these places back, I don't think they're going to have that great units. They're not going to have many, that's for sure. So I think we'll take a couple turns, replenish, fix everything up, make sure public order gets into a better position than it's currently in. We'll uh, just exempt... Actually, is that making any difference? Well, it does make some difference. So we'll exempt them from tax for the time being. Hopefully that fixes public order to some extent. And uh, we'll uh, just try and get this place secured and uh, under Scottish rule, which would be absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, it's uh, it's all looking good for us right now. Meanwhile, back in uh, back here, we have we have recruited ourselves some militia. So we'll stick these guys. I forgot to say, go, go out of the city and then on the ship, right? So we'll stick ourselves on the ships. How's public order looking after that? Still okay. It's not too bad. Right. And we shall send these guys to go and take Port Port Royal back from the Jamaicans. I'll resolve that. Win that. Big going snake. Lost all of his men. We did lose 200 men in the process, but we've gained ourselves Jamaica back. So we'll, uh, we'll fix that, given that going snake did nothing to fix it. It's still completely broken. Built some roads, because, you know, why not? Um, and, uh, yeah think we'll probably call it a week. It's been a very, very successful, well it's been, a, I'd say a very successful week. It has been a successful week to some regard. It's been a bit of a not so successful week to some others, but to be honest, it's kind of what I expected to happen. So uh, we managed to take Jamaica back after about four turns. So we managed to eventually take Jamaica back from the, uh, the Jamaican rebels. Hopefully that doesn't mean that we're about to lose this place to public order as well, which would be pretty annoying, but um, it does, look like public order is okay here, so I think we should be all right. And uh, in Europe, we have taken Vienna. It was our target. We did lose pretty much everything we've taken in the process. We took all of this at some point and then we've, uh, we've lost it all again. But it is all held by rebels, which I believe we should be able to take off quite easily. There are quite a few of them, but I think we should be able to take it from them pretty easily. So uh, yeah, hopefully next week. Actually, is that Austrian territory as well? It is Austrian territory. Oh, they have Prague. Although I'm not sure how long that's going to last because the Austrians are at war with the Prussians and the Prussians will probably want to take Prague back. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure how long the Austrians are going to have that. As soon as Austria loses that, I think they will probably like just collapse. I don't think they'll be able to support themselves anymore. But I think our main focus is to try and take all of this territory that, we've, that we did once have and we've lost. So if we can take all of this, that puts us in a very good position moving on to try and take the rest of Europe, which would be very very good for us so um yeah that's going to call it a week so if you've enjoyed this video then give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well if you're new around here that'd be absolutely amazing and i'll catch you guys next week where we'll 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 do something maybe perhaps we'll try and we'll alleviate public order but anyway until then cheerio